Hi there, David Swain here at Service Star Realty. And we're wanting to reach out to other landlords who are going through the same things that we are in hopes to be able to compare notes and share ideas. We want to give a quick update on the forbearance offer that came in the stimulus package. If you, if you, if your loan on, is owned by Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, then this applies to you. The stimulus package says that the services of these loans, whoever you make your payments to, can offer up to six months worth of forbearance on your payments. And again, another six months on top of that. Now, those monthly payments are deferred only of the interest. The taxes and insurance are not part of that, so they would need to be kept current. Now, with this being offered by the government entities who own it, Fannie Mae, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac, they're not the ones who service them, and they may have a different idea in mind. The government says that these payments would be delayed and added to the back end of the loan. So if you have a 15 years remaining, you now have 15 years and six months. But again, not all the services agree to that. So they may, they may have a different idea as to where at the end of three months worth of uh, deferred payments, they want all, all the rest of them paid on the fourth month. They may turn around and say, we'll only do three months and we'll put that on the back of the loan. Some will say that this hurts your credit and you shouldn't do it. Others say that it will not. It comes down to how lenient your mortgage company is going to be. They have the ability to do what was said previously, but check with your lender and see what their policy is and how it can help you. Be patient. Bank of America alone had 150,000 requests for deferment within the first three days. So you know they're gonna be swamped. These programs will help, help us all. Tenants who have lost their jobs and have no income will get back on their feet. It may be one month, two months, three, maybe even four months. But if we can get them to pay partial amounts while our mortgage payments have been delayed, then we can work it out for all. For those who are lucky enough not to have a mortgage on your property, this is probably not much of a help. But having the mindset to help a good tenant stay in the property, reducing the rents or coming up with plans to fit their needs will pay, a much, pay many higher returns than the vacancies that you may follow. This is new ground, and as I said before, we're open to hearing new and good ideas. So feel free to reach out and share your ideas with us as we are with you. So thanks for watching.